Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to capture Mega Man 8 and Castlevania Symphony of the Night with the Datapad Vision RGB E1S video capture card using some Genesis um, uh, HD RetroVision Genesis component cable with the PlayStation adapter and for this we're going to use the optimal timing page what you have to take note is that PlayStation use different resolution from the boot up, from the menu, and through the gameplay. So what you want to do is, uh, if you're going to do a playthrough, ideally choose a game that doesn't change much resolution. Like uh, my playthrough, I did a playthrough for Mega Man 8, and I was uh, really fortunate uh, that uh, the and during the gameplay it doesn't change resolution much. Maybe for the menu, but doesn't change much. If you're going to play uh, Symphony of the Night, Castlevania, the gameplay is going to use a certain resolution and the menu is going to use another one, but you'll be able to do your playthrough without too much problem. So let's get starting. Um, I got already VCS running. I just have to uh, get my window here. So as you can see, it's pretty messed up and we're going to fix this up. So as I said, Mega Man 8 is a 320 by 240p game, so I'm going to force the input resolution. And then what you, you want to do is go into Adjust Video and Color. And uh, I already have my settings saved in a folder here for my VCS. I'm going to share my file, but you can always uh, input the, the data manually. So here we have all the configuration for uh, this type of game, uh, 320 by 240, which is horizontal size, 427 horizontal position. This can vary for you. Uh, I got 82 vertical position can vary for you too. Uh, four, phase 10, black level eight. So all those data can vary except the horizontal size need to be uh, 427 where I get this data uh, if you've seen all of my previous video on the data path uh, video capture card um, and the VCS configuration uh, you go in the optimal timing page it could be uh, firebrand X page but uh, I don't think he has uh, the um, the setting for the PlayStation up for the OSSC uh, I don't have a OSSC, I just use the setting used for the OSSC into the software uh, VCS. So right now, as you can see, 320 by 240, the, the ash size is 400, 427. So then, uh, once you have your, your setting for VCS uh, figured out, you can go into OBS and in OBS I'm just going to put uh, this here uh, what you want to do is uh, once you have set up your uh, input uh, video you want to go into filter and here for a 320 by 240 game you can multiply by 5 and get the resolution 6 1600 by 1200 and I always use a uh, scale filtering point I feel it's uh, look better and um, yeah so you got your Mega Man 8 uh, running really good you can use I guess those setting uh, for other games that use the resolution of 320 by 240 uh, I'm just gonna skip this and I'm just going to show you how it's look so as you can see it's pretty crisp it's pretty clear thanks to the HD retrovision cable and you don't need an OSSC to, to capture a video game you just need the good the video capture card like the data pad so as you can see it's pretty good and you you can do a, a playthrough with this so I'm gonna shut shut down Mega Man 8 and we're gonna go to Castlevania. Shut down this. Open up that. Grab the CD. And as you can see, I got a pretty nice, uh, complete copy of Castlevania. So I'm gonna pop it up. 
that's uh, definitely the best game for the PlayStation. So here we go. Now it's gonna boot up and I'm gonna show you the other setting I use for Castlevania. So I got my VCS here. As you can see the window is gonna be messed up because it's gonna change resolution soon as the how can I say the video card soon as it lost lose signal it's gonna act strangely and you're gonna lose the setting you put. So Castlevania we said it's uh, 256 by 240 at least during the gameplay and what I'm gonna do is go in adjust video and resolution I already got my settings saved and I'm I probably put them on uh, Google uh, Google Drive for you to download if you want so it's already configured for me so as you can see I'm just going to go into the the gameplay because like I said the menu is different resolution so I'm just gonna load my game here so as you can see I get a pretty clear capture so where I got my settings still from this uh, Junker HQ dot net site so 256 by 240 it's gonna use um, H um, size of 341 so here's my settings 341 all those settings can vary for you horizontal position 65 vertical position 17 face 10 black 8 so those settings can vary for you but the horizontal size gonna stay at 341 so uh, I got my little video game capture card going um, what, what you want to do is go in OBS uh, and now we need to change this here because it's not the same uh, the same resolution so what you want to do this ain't gonna change because it's 240 multiplied by 5 so it ain't gonna change but if you multiply 256 by 5 it's going to give you 1280 so once you have this here what you can do is right click go into um, transform and I really like the option called center to screen so it's going to put it right in the middle of the screen so here it is and if you want to bump it up a little more what you can do is go 6x so uh, what you can do is go into um, right click filter and I'm gonna bump it to 6 6 so it's gonna be uh, 15 36 by uh, 14 40 so this is 256 by 240 multiply by 6 so you can bump up the the quality the resolution uh, a bit higher and once again you go into transform and you go to center to screen and yeah you lose a bit of the um, you lose a bit of the the game but nothing uh, nothing that really matter a bit of the top of a bit of the bottom if you're gonna capture in 1080p but uh, yeah the captures look uh, great so I hope you like this video. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any question, please ask. Uh, I'm not a professional. Uh, the true professional is uh, Dark Aries and uh, Firebrand X. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description uh, for all the resources you need to get going with your video game capture for the PS1. Thank you. Bye.